I'm not 100% certain, but I've noticed that things that I'm supposed to put on the walls are starting to accumulate again. Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? It's not that I've only just noticed. Um, I mean, there's only two things at the moment, as far as I can tell, what need hanging up that I've just not got around to doing. I mean, I bought this when I was in Retford and I still have yet to put it up. I know where I want to put it, just haven't got around to doing it. Or I'm just too lazy. Anyway, I'm not doing that today. I've decided, because it's a nice day, even though it doesn't look very sunny right now, it's warm out there. I've decided to get my bike out again. Unfortunately, I don't have an action camera to put on my helmet or on the bike, so I'm just gonna have to vlog here and there while I'm out. See, the thing is, remember on the last vlog, I went to Treat and Wood and I found that dike. I was talking to my friends at work about it and one of them said, oh yeah, I go there all the time. And I remember seeing a sign saying towards Woodhouse, he says that's where he comes from. So I'm thinking because, you know, I've run through Woodhouse so many times of late that I'm going to try and find that route he was talking about to see if I can get there. But I'm not just going to go there if I find it. There are other places that I want to explore because there's apparently there's a trail going from Catcliffe to Hansworth that Joe's told me about. So I'm hoping to go there and see exactly where that goes. And who knows, I may find other places as well. That's for what I've been up to since you guys last saw me mostly working. I'm telling you, those 10 hour night shifts <laughs> don't really have much time to do anything else in between them. But anyway, I'm gonna get my bike ready. Let me just go see if my tyres are still inflated. Could do a little pump up there. about this one? Eh, not so bad. Oh, it's warm in here, blimey. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm gonna get my bike set up, get my bag together and set off. Made it to Woodhouse. I'm at these, well, this T junction. The Washlands are just on the other side of here. In fact, this is where, when I did that 14 miler, my legs were locking up as I was coming down there before going into the Washlands. Now, according to my work colleague, I'm sure he says to go that way and then left. So that's what I'm going to do. However, I do know there's a way through there. I think, I'm not certain. I reckon that leads all the way to Waverley and Catcliffe. So I'm kind of hoping that if I do find the dike and I can go around it, I can come back this way and go that way. Maybe. We'll see. But for now, I'm just going to head on that way. I have to say, already I've had to go up a n number of hills and then I got to go down some, which was great. I love going down hills on my bike. Uh, I think it's going to be flat for a while now, so that's good. And hopefully not get lost. So I found the road he's on about, just come off the main road there. And I was about to head up there when I've just spotted this road. I'm assuming, because I can see pylons, that this is the road where, when I thought I got to the end of tree and wood and I saw them horses, I believe that's what this road is. So I'm thinking of going up there just to come back down again and then go that way. I think, because I did pass a pylon when I was walking through the woods. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look at that. I was right. Look, I'm back here again, where the horses are just there. Look, see. Oh, and I'm out of breath because this is all uphill. It's tough. Oh, and I've got sweat in my eyes. Ow. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I forgot my sweat band, so I'm having to rely on the backs of my gloves. So I'll probably end up with black eyes because. They're not very clean. I could swear I washed these recently as well. And I know that that road goes all the way into Swallow Nest. So what I'm gonna do now is go back down that way, which I'm gonna enjoy because it's all downhill. Go back to that road near the main one and head in to what I assume is Treat and Dyke. I mean, I could go that way, but I wanna see how you get to it on that road after I have a rest. Check out where I am now. Head. Look, speedboat. I'm back here again. Remember when I was making my way back, I came down this trail past that fallen tree. I've just followed the road, it came to a trail. This trail. It's split into two a bit further back, so I'm assuming I can go around the dike. 
And I saw this gate the last time, I didn't realise you could go through it on the side here. Uh, I didn't know they had boats on here though. Wow. And I've just seen a map as well. And sure enough, I was right, that wind turbine way over in the distance is Catcliffe. And now I'm just realising why it was muddy here the last time. If you remember, I stepped in the mud. Now I know why. Speed boats go up and down here. <laughs> oh wow. So all this exploring is paying off. I'm discovering all of these areas all joined together. Is that just the same speed boat going around in circles? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to see if I can get around the dive but because Catcliffe is where I want to go and I'm not far from there. So I don't know whether to do that first and then see if I can go through Waverley back to Woodhouse. But then again, I just might go around the dike and then go around that way. Right, I'm gonna keep going this way and when I get to the end I'll decide which way I'm going after that. So I've decided to come around the dike and now I know why I saw a car on this side last Tuesday because this is a road and I've found out where the speedboat was coming from. This place here. So I'm guessing you can hire them out from here. But yeah, I'm gonna make my way back around the dike and then I'm gonna go on that other path to Catcliffe. I think I know how to get to Catcliffe from here though, that way. I came past that building and the trail ended down here and joined this road. And I'm assuming if you go up that road, it takes you out to where Catcliffe is, presumably. So I'm, I'm now thinking, should I go that way then go around and come back the other way and then go this way? Nah, I'm, if I do that, I'm gonna get confused and start backtracking. Don't want to do that. Now, I'm just going to keep going this way. I didn't think I was going to have to do any weightlifting coming around this dike. I've just had to carry my bike across these rocks. And I did see that after them. Like, is that a, a way around? Oh, no, no, no. What round? Rocks. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the road ran out and became, well, a very thin path. So, I'm not going to go too fast because I've already passed a few people walking the dogs. I don't want to run anybody down. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep going that way. I wasn't expecting this. A fun fair. <laughs> I'll come back to this T-junction because I'm fairly certain that this trail leads all the way to the bottom of Waverley. At least I hope it does. And that's if we can get around this fair. Well, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've had to take a break because this trail from Woodhouse to Waverley is quite long. <laughs> And I've come across this bridge going over River Rother. That's a waterfall there. I know it's River Rother because the last time I cycled through Catcliffe, I passed a river there. And when I got home later on, I Google mapped it. Never realised it went on for that long. Turns out it goes all the way to the River Don. I'm half suspecting, but don't quote me on this, but I'm wondering if this bridge leads to a trail that goes back to Treat and Dyke. I would not be surprised. I'd go look, but I want to keep going that way. Whilst I'm going along this trail, I've spotted another lake. I have no idea what it is, what it's called. For all I know, it's another dyke. Huh? Ow. This permissive path is currently closed. Oh, so it's wanting me to go that way. Ow. But at least I know it's going to where I said it was going. Ah, that doesn't matter, I could go around. <laughs> yes, this lake, I've no idea what it is, what it's called. Now I had no idea it was here. You have to understand, when I drive around, when I'm driving around Waverley, I'm going up that way, past them trees. So I don't see any of this. It's beautiful. I'm loving just exploring on the bike. Brilliant. That's what I'm going to call this video. <laughs> I've just realised exploring on the bike. Why not? <laughs> just shows you there's so much to see. I mean, I'm not sure, but I think their trail's going up that way and probably going across. Or is that a rail line for all I know? Actually, now that I think about it, I believe it is because. When you go that way, you go over a bridge that goes over a rail line. So yes, that'll be 
most likely a rail line. I'm glad I've stopped and I would not have seen that sign and I'd have just kept going. So yeah, I'm gonna go that way and go to one more place that I want to explore and then I'm gonna head on home. And now on the other end of Waverley, Boundary Mill's just there. And I've come to the final trail that I want to explore. This one, apparently it goes all the way up to Handsworth where the Azza that I used to dance in is. I'm gonna find that out. But I just wanna point out, the first time I did that long 40 mile run where my legs started seizing up and everything, well before that I had gone to Tinsley. And I'd gone that way through that tunnel and that's Tinsley on the other side. And I have to say I'm starting to get worn out now. I have been cycling for two and a quarter hours, I believe, something like that. So I'm going to make this the last part of it. Hopefully it does lead to where I think it does. And then I can start heading on home. Like I said, I'm starting to wear out. I was right, led to here. I thought it would. And Asda, that used to dance is right there. The trail eventually finished, became a road. And then that started curving off and comes out somewhere up top of here. But then I saw the path on my it's the one, I was right. Sure enough, it led me here. So I satisfied my curiosities. And now, I've got to do the many miles back home. <laughs> anyway, it's now just turning 20 to five. I was hoping to be home for five, but can't see that happening. I'll get there when I get there. I'm not sure, but I think I'm thirsty. I wasn't sure if I was gonna gulp all that down in one go, but I finished off my bottle outside. That was down, it was only a third full. I'm gonna have to have another one. <laughs> Whew, it's warm out there. I've done 14.87 miles, apparently. I'm not surprised, really. One of the reasons I was doing all of that exploring was because, one, I wanted to see if I could get to these places like treat and diet without going in my car and also I wanted to explore all these places to find new run routes I think I succeeded I've already started formulating routes in my head <laughs> of where to go I need to sit down but I'm about to get attacked can you hear him come on then I was only gone for three and a Quarter hours. Oh, this is where he starts wiping all the sweat off, isn't it? I got back home at quarter past five. I'm still gonna take this one out. I can wait till I finish this second pint. Plus, it looks like he wants a bit of fussing. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna sign off now. All I've got for the rest of today is to walk him, bath me, have my tea, edit this, and then go to bed around 10 o'clock. So I'm back to work in the morning. Uh, yes, the reason I've got this towel is to get the sweat off, but it's fine. I've got this this nugget doing it instead. Thanks. Oh, dude, I want to sign off. <laughs> can I can I just finish the video? Yeah. <laughs> Right guys, all that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Uh, just one thing I forgot to mention when I was at Treaton Wood last Tuesday, I got bit there, there, here and I don't know if it's still there on the back of my knee. I'm kind of hoping because I've been back, I haven't been bitten again. Here's hoping.